uh, something you said about um, about you know about kind of letting like little things come through. You know, the authenticity of music is it's really important, and especially with the way people have been making records more and more, when you can just kind of cut everything up and mm. make everything just sound totally perfect. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, it doesn't really sound like people playing music. And I think it was one of the reasons like why live music is so awesome, you know, and like people right. love it, yeah. you know, it's because you, you really can just watch people playing and you know, it's real. Um, but I, but I think it's, I think people, people react to those things. And, and I, if, if an artist I'm working with has a bad technical problem or something, and they're bummed out. It's something I tell them all the time too. Like people in the audience are going to be excited that they were at the show or something went wrong. Or it, it just makes it more real, you know? Yep. Um, so they're, they're not always going to be like, oh, the audience really wants everything to sound exactly like the record. They want to be a, a unique, you know, a unique experience, have a unique experience. Yeah, so, so, so Scott, what do you, you know, just asking, because that is one of the things that, that um, I, I see with the younger artists, um, that they try to take the... I guess the studio experience and bring it live. And for me, um, and especially what I love about Badu is she seems to get as far away from what was happening in the studio as possible. And, and I think that's what keeps her, um, keeps people coming to see her because on any given night, you don't know what version of Bag Lady you're going to hear or whatever, because it is, uh, she likes to say it's an organic, you know, it's, it's one living, how does she put it? It's um, a living, breathing organism. And so with having all of those players that actually are playing, it just varies from night to, to night. And, and there have been some amazing nights where you just know, wow, this will never be like this again. What do you think about situations where you go in and pretty much you're, you're pushing up faders, but it's either mostly pre-recorded or all pre-recorded, and it's only going to be four minutes or three minutes, 15 seconds. What do you think about that? I mean, Mixing. What, one of the clients, one of my clients relies quite heavily on tracks. There's tons mm -hmm. and tons. And like, and you listen to their studio records and there's a lot of layers or a lot of layers in the studio. Um, their mm -hmm. producer really, he's he, Grammy award, Grammy award winning producer, but he's known for, for that kind of production, really like mm -hmm. kind of lush, like tons, tons of studio stuff. And not all of it is just, not all of it is like, um, I don't know, how do I say it? Like natural sounding instruments. A lot of the studio stuff is like kind of reversed things, and you know it doesn't really sound like you couldn't real you couldn't recreate it on stage unless you're playing back yeah. tracks. So so they get into that, and that's cool. Um, but they you know once that kind of floodgate started opening, they started relying more and more and more and more on the tracks, and then and 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 it's okay. And you know they're a great live band too. So when I when I'm dealing with their mix, I'm quite often putting the studio tracks right under where what all like the live stuff is because right. to me that's that's where the action is and that's what I want to hear when I when I'm watching them play. Um, but then when they when their producer comes along sometimes you know he, if if we're talking about stuff he'd be like, "Oh, should we push the tracks more?" I was like, and I, we're you know, we don't fight about it. We get, we get along great, but mm -hmm. you know, we were, you know, we're, we're, it's always a point of discussion like what should be you know, he wants it to sound like the record because he's been in the studio mm -hmm. working on these layers and stuff, you know, tweaking them out for, for however long. And, and to me, I want the organic experience. So it really, I think just the mix, you know, even if you have the tracks, just a few dB in the mix is really going to change how it's perceived. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, that's real. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like people get, I think artists get too... Uh, reliant on it because they feel like that's what kind of brings the power to their recordings and they want to like mm -hmm. have that power translate live but it doesn't really always happen so um, I think it's worth talking about with younger musicians you know and, and yeah. younger artists yeah. because you know quite a lot of times what people are connecting with is is not that they're connecting with that immediate thing on stage that they're seeing happen like happening yeah. live you know I think you, I think you, you hit on it right there uh, with the uh, younger musicians because now I'll say, 
for myself as 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 well as I, I know for uh, Dre as well, we've been fortunate to work with some phenomenal musicians, you know, um, cats that like, um, I don't even tell people I play guitar anymore. I play guitar on songs that I write, but the the I guess the level of musicianship of the people that we're fortunate enough to work with is is just amazing. And these cats come out even on a bad night and just crush, you know. Um, I, I guess uh, I would say like uh, cats like uh, Braylon Lacey on bass, um, um, R.C. Williams on keys, um, um, God, just 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 bad cats, Wayne. Wayne Lindsay, um, just so many bad cats, you know, that, that, that um, you know, I, I think about like that. And, and so I guess that makes the difference when you, you know, and everybody comes to, to, into their own and every generation has the people that they look up to and everybody's got to, just like with us. Now, the three of us, we can sit back and we can talk frequencies, we can talk uh, 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 systems or whatever, and this is through experience, you know, and that that is time. So I guess um, I guess I'm kind of answering my own thing as I think about it. When people, when they're new to the game, you know, they do what they do, and as they go along, they evolve and things change. Oh, you yeah. know. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely.